So let's see here. It's bending, 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 bending. A lot of displacement. And now it's already at 100 millimeters of displacement. And you can see here at the bottom, uh, right in the, in the middle of the beam, it's actually turning red. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. And if I look at it from the side, you can actually see that the um, top bar has um, bent and is now facing outward. And the bottom of it is now actually at an angle. So um, that's, that's so much force that it's actually deforming. Um, even in this exaggerated state, um, there's a lot that you can tell from, from what's going on here with the amount of force that we've placed here at the top. Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to do a static simulation of an I-beam in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now, as you can see, these are some of the dimensions of my I-beam, and I created this profile and mirrored it to the other side. I'm going to finish the sketch to show you the extrusion that I created, which is 700 inches long, and that's the total length of the I-beam. Now that I've already modeled the I-beam, I'm going to come to the tab and I'm going to change this to simulation. We're now in a simulation environment. Now I want to select static stress, so I'm going to create a study. Within this static study, the first thing I want to do, because of the fact that I don't need to simplify this model, is come to materials, and I'm going to come to study materials, and I'm going to come down to my steels, and under steel I'm going to select this generic uh, steel material, and I'm going to hit OK. With that selected, the next thing I want to do is come to constraints, structural constraints, and with my fixed type selected, I'm going to select this face right here. And I'm going to select the same face on the other side. And these are the faces that are going to remain fixed in my simulation. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to come to Loads. And I'm going to click on Structural Loads. I'm going to rotate my part here. And I'm going to select this top face. Now. As you can see, Fusion 360 is applying a load all throughout the face, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to come to Vectors, X, Y, and Z, and with it selected, I can change my units to be Pounds of Force, and I'm going to set the force here in the Y direction to be 1,000 pounds, a half ton. Oh, this is in the wrong direction. If that happens to you, all you have to do is come to Study Materials, I'm sorry, Load Cases, and Loads, and you just want to right-click, Edit Structural Load, and you can swap the direction if necessary. So I'm going to put a negative in front of this 1000, and now that flips it in the other direction. So with this load now applied, the next thing I want to do is I want to click on Pre-Check, and as you can see, all of my study criteria has been entered. I'm going to click on Solve, and I want to create a local um, simulation solve. So I'm going to just hit Solve, and now that's going to load. My simulation has loaded, and it's brought me to a screen here with some result details. Now, as you can see, the beam is uh, bending in a way that's that's not really necessarily possible in real life. We want to come to deformation scale and we want to change this from adjusted to actual. So as you can see, uh, this is the way that the beam would look in real life. Much, much less dramatic. I'm going to come to displacement and that's going to paint um, a pretty clear picture of the um, strain based on the stress that's applied. And you can also change this to be strain, and that's also very helpful. So now that this has been done, I actually want to finish my results here. And I want to right click on the force, or I can also click on um, Edit Structural Load. 
And what I wanna do is I wanna up the amount of force. So right now we have this set at 1,000 pounds of force, but I wanna change this to 7,000 pounds of force. And now I'm gonna hit okay. So my force has been changed. And for that reason, my results are now incorrect. So what I wanna do from here is I wanna run the uh, solver again. My results have loaded once again. And as you can see, um, there's not much of a change here in the beam, but I can change this to um, displacement. And you're, you're gonna see about the same view. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to up it by a lot more. So I'm gonna edit my force. And instead of 7,000 pounds of force, I'm going to make this 100 thousand pounds of force and I'm going to hit OK. Now I want to run this uh, once more so I'm going to click on solve and I'm going to do another local solving of my simulation. My results have loaded and as you can see um, this is now uh, becoming a bit of an issue the amount of force that I'm applying here. My safety factor is now 8.95. It was much higher before. And now we have 2.76 uh, millimeters of displacement. So I'm going to hit close. And I want to finish my results because I want to edit this again. So right now um, we have 100,000 pounds of force. But I want to change this to 700 thousand pounds of force so 700,000 pounds of force and we're gonna see if that has really any effect on this so I'm gonna hit OK and I want to solve once again now that my simulation has loaded we can see that um, we're running into more and more problems with the, the larger and larger forces that I'm applying now I'm very impressed with the beam itself. I think that it's um, it's definitely taking a, a lot of uh, strain now uh, from the amount of stress that I'm putting on it. And like I said, I'm, I'm very impressed with the results. And if you look at it from the side, you can actually see that deformation uh, and displacement that's occurring. So if I, if I look at this um, from the side, you, you can see the... Um, the change in the uh, in the shape. So this is the straight line that the beam was before we applied the load. And as you can see, it's moved uh, about 19 millimeters. So um, we want to have a little bit more fun here and we want to change it one last time. So I'm going to edit my amount of force. And instead of 700,000 pounds of force, I'm going to make this uh, 2 million pounds of force. And so uh, let's see what happens if we make it 2 million pounds of force. So I'm going to solve this again. And I promise this is going to be the last time. Now we can see a lot of uh, displacement here. And I just want to show um, the adjusted. So I'm going to come here and click on adjusted. And um, even though it's not realistic, um, it's just a, a sort of way of describing the deformation and showing it in a very um, in a very over-the-top kind of illustrative manner um, that's very exaggerated so that's the force that's being applied and this is the way that it's affecting the, the beam but if I show the actual um, it's actually starting to, to really bend a lot. And if we look at it from the side, uh, we can see really how much uh, deformation there is. Um, my, my factor of safety is now 0.45, which is absolutely in the red zone. Um, that, that's absolutely for sure. And um, as you can see, this is a great tool that you can use. Um, I can change this from displacement to strain. And that's also going to be very helpful for me to see um, the changes that are taking place. Um, by the way, uh, reaction force and uh, stress are, are other things that you can see. So it's actually showing you um, in megapascals the force 
And, um, and so that's our simulation. And uh, this is a way that you can use uh, Fusion 360 to do simulations like this and find out um, the way that your part or assembly is going to react. Uh, thank you.